Imagine something smaller than a sesame seed burrowing into your skin, growing 20 times its size and laying hundreds of eggs, while you feel every second of it. This isn't horror fiction, it's the reality of a jigger flea infestation, and if you leave it untreated, it can lead to crippling pain, severe infections, and even amputation. Today, I'm breaking down the four terrifying stages of a jigger infestation, the hidden risks, and how to stop it before it's too late. So let's start at the beginning. Stage 1 is Entry and Attachment. It starts with a pregnant female jigger flea, tiny and almost invisible, latching onto bare skin, usually your feet, toes, or heels. And unlike a mosquito bite, you probably won't notice it at first. Within hours, it burrows headfirst into your skin, leaving just its rear end exposed so it can breathe. The first sign? A small, itchy black dot surrounded by redness. Many mistake it for a splinter, but scratching only makes things worse. Now, stage 2, growth and egg development. Over the next 7 to 10 days, the flea feeds on your blood and swells to the size of a pea. Inside, it's busy growing hundreds of eggs, up to 200, turning your body into a nursery. The area gets painful, inflamed, and it might ooze fluid. By now, the risk of infection is sky high. Open sores invite nasty bacteria like tetanus or staph, and in severe cases, you could even develop gangrene. Stage 3, egg release and multiplication. When the eggs mature, the flea expels them right through the wound, scattering them into your environment. Just one flea can lead to thousands of larvae in a matter of weeks. If you don't treat it, the cycle repeats, leading to clusters of jiggers. This is why jiggers spread so easily in struggling communities, where people can't always afford shoes, clean floors, or medical care. Stage 4, Tissue Damage and Long-Term Risks Chronic jigger infestations destroy skin and tissue. Victims suffer abscesses, nail loss, and sometimes even bone infections. In the worst cases, amputation is the only solution. Children are especially vulnerable, some can't walk or even go to school. But here's the good news, safe removal by a medical professional stops the cycle. And prevention, like wearing shoes, using repellents, and washing your feet, is the real key. If you live in or travel to high-risk areas like East Africa, Latin America, or the Caribbean, always wear shoes and check your feet daily. Share this video to raise awareness, because so many people still don't know the dangers of jiggers. Hit subscribe for more hidden health threats explained, and drop a comment if you've ever encountered jiggers. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.